hi guys uh, today we'll be seeing how we can set uh, the voice level requirements which are required for uh, CDH installation so this uh, if you go to the cloud documentation so these are the mandatory steps we need to uh, do for the um, cloud installation like enabling of NT server and configuring some network names like etc host and etc sysconfig files and disabling of slinux and uh, disabling of uh, firewalls so that it can communicate uh, to the other nodes so these are the mandatory steps we will be doing uh, on one of the nodes i will show it on one of the nodes and we have to repeat this steps in other nodes as well okay so i have a documented the steps here and i will be executing in one of the nodes uh, i have taken edge nodes and i have switched as a root user okay and i'll open the text file what i've created so first thing i will be adding a user called cloudera okay this will add the user and this statement will change the password of user okay to cloudera and this statement will add this cloudera as a pseudo user so which is required for installation of uh, cdh okay and to login with the password authentication we need to change a parameter in etc ssh sssd config okay that has been changed now we can login through putty using the cloudera user and cloudera as a password and i am disabling the ac linux here so if you want to check you can check over here get etc Cat etc cdnx config so you can see uh, cdnx is disabled and this will take effect after we, we restart or reboot your system so and i'll be restarting the ssh service here okay that has been restarted and these are the not mandatory steps we can consider these as a mm, pre-checks whether we have configured the servers correctly or not so this will check the um, uh, sizes of the mount points what we have and this will check the lsbc commands whether we have correct mount points are uh, configured correctly or not and this is the mount point entries where we make here this step and these are the uh, some messaging errors if you have something we can check that in the linux box so there is no errors and i am just verifying whether what portion of uh, centos i have configured that is 7.4 and again the error on the bus if any communication here you can see here and i am setting the vm sharpness to one this is recommended uh, by cloudera to learn the bulk loops and the next step is uh, so uh, cloudera supports ipv4 so i want to disable the ip6 so i'm just executing the steps this will disable the ip6 so i'm just checking the ntp server here so next is ntp server checking that so I will see which is the metadata server for NTP. Uh, so if NTP server is not installed, I'll try to install here. So nothing to do because it has been already installed and I am configuring it as runtime when the OS down, when the system goes down, it should be uh, booted up or started up when the system 
um, starts so it should be running okay so this is the uh, I mean command to check the status connection refused or we can also check by service NTPD status is an active date so we need to start the status okay now we can check the status it is active and running okay this should be running and uh, so as I said before we need to disable the firewall Okay, so this disable the firewalls and I am checking the SC Linux status here. The status still available because we need to reboot the system. Okay, and I have done this uh, uh, before. So if you want, uh, you can check the status. I've started the service. The status is active and running. And these are the user limits we will be adding to the etc security limit file where it specifies hdfs user can open 32768 files you can increase the number to 64 567 whatever the number you want but this is a recommended number and these are the uh, processes uh, where hdfs user can open so i'll just copy and paste it uh, the command okay and I am disabling the mail server in the uh, box because we will be not using that. Uh, so anyway, we have the Cloudera manager where we can configure the alerts. Okay, and I am disabling the uh, I mean printing configuration from this machine. As a production system, you should not be able to print uh, configurations. Mm. Getting here, we'll see that. These are all mandatory, but as a uh, in production system, we need to do that. And I'll check the status of it. So it is saying that not found, uh, it has been not installed, I guess. And uh, so this is the disabling of THP, THP means transparent two pages uh, to handle a large workload lo work as you know Hadoop will be processing the huge amount of data so the application performance will go down so we will be uh, doing this uh, for better performance of the applications this parameter has to be set and these are the resolve contact files it will search in the as we have created in google file system your uh, host will be searched in the in the this uh, domain and these are all not required and this is the main thing so we have to uh, add these entries as a best practice in, uh, in production systems uh, See, no entries are there, only one entry will be there, that is the edge node as we have done this. But best if you have configured uh, DNS, it's not required to add any entry of entries here. But as a best practice, we will be going to add here. etc host okay uh, so the edge node has already been added okay i'll be taking about taking out edge node and i will be adding these entries uh, in the 
etc host files okay that has been added and I will be saving this okay and we are checking whether the host name is correctly entered or not here in this okay nothing has been entered so we can enter it as okay go here insert host host sorry guys host name h okay that's fine okay so this is the final step and you can if you want you can check the what is the ip assigned for uh, for this so this is the internal ip assigned for this and these are the uh, steps we need to do as a part of uh, uh, prerequisites and uh, os level configurations so i'll be rebooting this system Okay, guys. Uh, reboot has been uh, completed, and I'll check. This is the main thing we have to check that has been dis disabled, and I'll check etc host files whether the entries are there. Okay, the entries are present and I'll also check in says config config and network. Okay, uh, so this is all there and we have disabled all the necessary um, components, I mean services which are which are required for installing uh, cloud era. So uh, I am done with the prerequisites on one of the nodes, so we have to do it on all the nodes which are part of uh, which are going to be part of uh, CDH installation. So, any doubts and clarifications needed, please comment. I'll try to answer those questions. Thank you, and please subscribe.